In this particular video, we're going to go ahead and see what are the topics we're going to cover in our upcoming 77 days Facebook ads course. It's like a crash course, but spread over 77 days and you're learning from none other than but me, God of Madan, right? Somebody who has actually done more than one CR in the last 11 months with Facebook ads and also generated more than 45,000 leads for my own business. Now that's something really, really awesome and amazing. Now that may be a mouthful for you, but be a me with me and let me show you what we'll be covering so that you know how I was able to do it and how you can also be able to achieve the same results. Now, this is, you know, a little bit of outline what I've done with regard to the coming course. So the number first thing which we're going to understand is what is the psychology behind ads? OK, these are just the topics. I'm going to go through them and let you know what all things would be covered. Then like psychology ads are way different than, you know, the normal feed, Facebook feed, which you actually see. So next thing which we're going to do is talk about Facebook. What is Facebook? What uh, what kind of things are there? Then we are going to talk about basics of Facebook, like what is the difference between page, profile and group? Why is it important to have all three or which one is important for ads? Then we're going to talk about Facebook policies. Lots of people say, hey, I tried to run my Facebook ad, but my account got banned. <laughs> and then we're going to you know, talk about understanding the account structure. So we're going to talk about Facebook ads manager, business manager and and one of the key things, structuring your accounts in a manner so that you are never ever banned again. You, know, you never lose your data. Now that's something, it's it's a trick which we do, which we do and uh, it's going to be with you. It's not something which everybody does it. Then we're gonna talk about campaign structure. We're gonna talk about campaigns, ad sets and ads. This is the structure how things work. Then we're gonna talk about proper way to start a campaign. Okay, what kind of campaign you should start, how many number of campaigns you should start at the start, how many number of ads you should have in each ad set, how many ad sets you should have, should you run a PPE campaign, should you run a conversion campaign, should you run a lead generation campaign and so on, right? So there's a proper way to start your account, to warm up your account so that it is, you know, really, really, really structured for the big scale. Then we're going to talk about a lot of split testing. We're going to talk about types of campaigns and objectives. We will talk about brand awareness, reach, app installs, engagement, conversions, store traffic, traffic, video views, lead gen, messages, catalog sales, dynamic catalog remarketing would be responsible because of catalogs, right? So then we're going to talk about targeting. Now, this one is one of my favorites. We're going to talk about interest targeting. We're going to talk about all the other forms of targeting, which is present on Facebook. Then we're going to talk about hijacking Facebook to find hidden interests. Okay, this one is really, really special. And then we're going to talk about laser targeting. I even have a dedicated course on laser targeting masterclass. I'm going to include all of it inside this. Then we are going to talk about placements and types of ads. Now there are different kinds of placements, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Audience Network, what are these? Uh, how to leverage it? Should we run a campaign dedicated to single placement or should we run a campaign with all the placements in one <laughs> campaign, right? It's a pretty interesting question which people don't understand. Most important part of the entire thing is actually ad copy, of course. And we're going to talk about ad copy, short form, feature based, story based, long form, persuasion, authority, logic, benefit, scarcity. I guess you haven't thought of nine different variants of your own ad, right? Ever, ever thought of it? If not, I'll make you think about it. <laughs> so that's what the course is going to cover. Then we're going to talk about pixels, data, you know, data, 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 data. So now because of pixels, what we have been able to do, what I've been able to do is, you know, I've been able to do like zero targeting. I have not targeted anybody and I'm still getting leads and results at a very, very cheap rate. So, uh, you know, warming up your pixels, maintaining the pixels growth, and then also using it in a manner that it serves you. Uh, machine learning comes up back and gives you back, right? So we're going to talk about that. Then we're going to talk about audiences. You know, it is pretty, pretty amazing thing, creating audience from data, lookalike audiences, creating audiences from pixels, creating audiences based on your lifetime value of the customer. It's pretty interesting. And you would not believe the way you can do with uh, things with LTV, lifetime value of a customer could actually be a major game changer in the way you run ads. Okay. So also we're going to talk about ad creative, which is not here, but definitely uh, I'm going to add that because that impacts 50% of, uh, I mean, 50% of your performance of your ad campaign is actually because of the ad creative. So it is very, very essential part. If your ad creative sucks, everything else is going to fall apart. 
All right, so we're going to talk about remarketing and remarketing is not just plain remarketing. We're going to talk about numerous strategies, numerous, minimum nine different remarketing strategies which you can use and take the person through a remarketing funnel and not just remarketing ad. Okay, so that's something which is going to be amazing. Now, scaling CBO secrets. This one is new, right? CBOs, campaign budget optimizations. Not a lot of people know this. Not a lot of people have tested this. People are still stuck to ad set budgets, right? And this one is something mm, people should know. You know, that's not how it works. <laughs> now, Facebook has come with new stuff, so you better be updated. Then using lookalikes to scale 10x faster with a one to 10 person method, right? Then we're gonna talk about how to play with the algorithm, uh, you know, hide and seek. We're gonna play a game with the algorithm of Facebook. Then we're gonna to talk today, start tomorrow. If our ads fails to run, of course, then we're gonna talk about campaign fixes. What are the reasons why your campaigns are not performing? How you can fix them? How you can actually make sure that every single thing which you run is on point. Then we're gonna talk about automated rules. This one is huge, right? Actually, uh, you know, scale win, stop loss, uh, then we talk, talk about surfing. People don't even understand what surfing is, to be honest. You know, they would think that, okay, going on a beach and taking a skateboard, I mean, a board and then surfing on the waves. But it's not that surfing, honestly. It's way, way different than that. And we, talk, we are going to talk about how to surf your CBOs, how to surf your ad sets, and how to surf your campaigns. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's a secret. It's a tiny little secret which people don't understand. And this is going to actually help us automate every single thing of our Facebook account. Then we're going to talk about analytics and then we're going to talk about case studies. My 45,000 leads case study, which is by then I think so. I may have done like 100,000 leads and also how I did one CR from one product, which is $150,000 from one product. And uh, that is two case studies and a lot of other case studies, but the smaller ones, so they have not really mentioned it. Okay. Uh, we are also talk, going to talk about a lot of uh, bidding. Okay, how do you talk, how do you go ahead and uh, do bidding? But uh, you know, should you actually go ahead and uh, do manual bidding or automated bidding? And if you're doing manual bidding, then what is the amount you should be put as a bid? And all those things, all those good, all those crazy good things. So now, let me tell you one thing: there would be a lot of Facebook courses around. You know, just by looking at the entire curriculum, you can understand this is not something which comes, uh, you know, just like a generic Facebook course. This is pretty in depth. It is going to be spread over a lot of days, 77 days, 77 plus videos. There's going to be lessons, which is going to help you cheat sheets, right? And I'm going to be there along with that, giving you support and guidance with on our Facebook, dedicated Facebook students group, right? So if this is something, which you want in so go ahead click on the button below and come on come on come on come on come on come to the next page and enroll today this is this this cannot get better right i'm so excited to make sure that your business scales uh, pretty good with for more leads and sales right just like my business did or your client's business whatever and um, i look forward to see you on the inside thank you so much for watching this video it's me god's time take care bye bye see you inside the members area